Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. You may recall that Let's get out of the elevator. You may recall that last time we left off here at the entrance to level R, the reactor level. You know the music is still a little loud even for me. That's better. So, our objective on the reactor level is twofold. We need to install Isotope X-22 to power up the station shield generator, and then we need to disable the laser safety override to allow us to fire the laser into the shield and destroy it. As far as enemies on level R go, much like level 2, we actually can destroy everything here. There are... The only enemies that respawn based on us killing them, again, much like level 2, are hoppers. But there is a hard limit on the number we can produce, so the bottom line is I'm not going to worry about killing them. The first thing I want to do is make it so we don't have to worry about dying on this level. But let's search this corpse. It's got nothing. And here's a log, Stevens, October 26th, 2072. That would be a level R log. This is the engineering party. We've made it to the reactor level, and I've got a schematic of the area. Now we've just got to set the reactor to self-destruct. Get back to Alta and the others, and get out of here. If they're sending the destruct signal from Earth, it'll blow Shodan out of space. Probably us with it. Okay, look there. We have on the map the locations of the laser safety override, the reactor, and the shield generator. You'll also notice, oddly enough, on the floor, right in front of me, is a camera. So let's blow that and drop level security to 90%. Alright, I'm sure there's something around this corner. Hopper. <laughs> The hopper has nothing, which is fine. Now, I took a good amount of damage there, so we need to be careful. Let's, let's clear this. Let's clear the room we're in before we do anything else. At least. Yes, there's another hopper around the corner. Now that, unlike many of my hopper takedowns, went very smoothly. So, awesome. Let's search that corpse. There's nothing there. There's a storage room door, an access panel, and a blast door. And we've mapped out this room. I want to turn right first, for the simple reason that... That little thing I just took down is called an auto bomb. Those little guys are suicide bombers that will absolutely destroy you if you let them get close to you. Make sure I get the level fully mapped. There's another storage room door. We'll check all of those things out, but my priority... My medical group access got me into this room, which is very handy. And here's the switch. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Okay, now we don't have to worry about dying. Re here's a new log. Rains, September 28th, 2072. Hey everyone, that rash I told you about is spreading, and I feel kinda sick. I'm going down to the hospital level to get checked. See you tomorrow. Alright. That's just a forced door into the conversion station. Which is now a good old fashioned healing suite. 
That's what happens when an auto bomb gets close to you. I didn't even see the little bastard in time. Uh, here's another log. Looks like, uh... What does it say? Stein... Steinba? Stein B, I guess. September 5th, 2072. Char, it's Mark. Listen, we gotta reschedule for later. Uh, the core has been spitting out some serious radiation right now. Been spiking for the past 36 hours, and we're talking about 8 rams. Only cause I can come up with is that it's a software error. No one's been hurt yet, but listen, do me a favor. Run that diagnostic on the CPUs for me. Thanks. I owe ya. Alright. Let's try this door first. Radiation treatment area. I see a cyborg over there. Oh. I can make the camera pan. That's pretty cool. And what I see is another cyborg. Okay, screwy. this. Don't know. Don't know what any of that is either. It all looks nasty. Alright. Let's check out this storage room. Aha! SEC access level required. And it's got an armory icon. Okay. What about through here? <laughs> we got drone cyborgs. Teflon coated rounds. Nothing. Ah, the radiation treatment area. I'd really like to get to that, uh, surgical unit. Under this bed, we have two detox patches and two meta patches. Now, the four store is locked, naturally. But right here is a grid puzzle we can presumably use to solve it, to open it. Alright. Oh yeah, so let's save before we mess with it. Now this one rolls diagonally, so... There we go. Now we can get in there. Glorious. In here we find Biological Systems Monitor V1, which we already had, two detox patches, a first aid kit, no more room in inventory, I'll just drop it right there for now because I'm carrying around plenty. And there, we've healed. Alright, let's get this back to my map, get this back to my weapon. And let's explore the rest of this room before we head anywhere else. That cyborg drone has nothing. Now here's a biological systems monitor V2, which is an upgrade. What does this do for me? It's hard to say. I 
I don't see anything different. <clears throat> but there it is. Now, if I'm radiated, that will clear radiation me. Radiation treatment complete. That will clear me of my radiation, which it should be obvious will come in very handy later. Now let's head through this little door. Another hopper, down it goes. No worries with the surgical unit right there. Now, as I head into this hallway, what do I find? An iris door. Here's the door to the reactor. Access granted, but door is locked. Okay. I don't see any puzzles to solve, so... There's an auto bomb. Now, I'm gonna use one of my battery packs. Oh, heck. Might as well use a few. And now I think I can pick up that first stage kit, which is lovely. And you know what, there's no point in carrying the logic probe, simply because I'm gonna solve all the puzzles anyway, so... Let's continue clearing out this hallway. I hear zero-G mutants, but what I see over there is a hopper. Which I would dearly love to take down. Then we'll run back to this lovely medical substation. Makes everything so easy. I'll save again. Oh, and look, there's a recharge. There's an energy unit. Perfect. Why it says danger, I don't know. But I now have everything I need. Got a lot going on in here. Experimental. Okay. Let's try this iris door first. My engineering sector access got me in there. Lovely. Keep healing and recharging as we run into these things. Oops. Another door to the reactor. Access granted, but door is locked. I'm not sure what that means. Here's a log. Girin, January 4th, 2072. Gravity research is going well. We'll be using the Northeast Lab to set up a zero-G area. This area will be off-limits to general personnel. Oh, that hopper managed to take me out. 
No problem. Is he an actual? I've been directed all the way back to the first hallway. Might as well go and solve this wire puzzle just because it's here. Here, this is the default state. Always save before you mess with a puzzle. Okay. I'm missing. There we go. Got it. Alright. Let's head into the storage room now. It's radiated. I noticed that it's very radiated, but we've got... Two Teflon coated pistol clips in here. And astoundingly, it looks like that's it. And we've got like three hoppers now. The hoppers have started spawning. So, what we're really doing is working our way towards the hard cap on their numbers. This one doesn't appear radiated, but all that's in it is one empty crate. Wahoo.
Here's another storage room door. This also requires a uh, security access, which we don't have. Now what's through this black door? A cyberspace terminal. Well, let's save and check it out. What do I have here? Cyber Shield version 4. Drill version 2. That's pretty awesome. In here. What do I have? A new data object. Cool. That thing looks mean. What do I have over here? Drill version 3. Unlocked some blast door saw. Unlocked a blast door somewhere. That's good. protected by ice defenses. But there's a Pulsar V5. What's this? Armory access overridden. Awesome. Now we can get into the armory, but... I feel like I might have... I'd like to get to the exit, the real exit of this area, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh yeah, look here. An opening. Wing Zero Games Software. Now here's something else protected by ice. Sea Shield V6. Awesome. And that looks like an exit. Okay. Oh, we found some good software in there. And on top of that, we should have unlocked the armory. The corpse has a dark gun, needles, a meta patch, and a V1 target identifier, which we already had. This crate has four Teflon coated pistol bullets. Very good. This crate has three standard pistol bullets. Very good. This crate has a pistol and two meta patches. And we have some papers in the corner. Citadel Station boasts one of the highest security ratings in known space. Against invasion, it is armed with a battery of DEX-36 missiles, eight short-range Argon suspension lasers, and the state-of-the-art Tachyon light laser mining beam that can easily be modified for military use. On the inside, over 200 security guards are armed with spark beams, triop mini-pistols, and flechettes. Guards in especially sensitive areas are issued scorpion guns. The armories are also stocked with mag pulse guns in the event that invaders employ powered battle armor. Lastly, work is being done currently on the plasma rifle, which when fully designed, will be the most powerful hand weapon in existence today. And that takes us right back in there. I see two cameras in here. Destroying them drops security to 70%. Awesome. Still can't get into the reactor, but that's okay. Let's 
charge up my energy. I want to see if I can get in here. There are those zero G points. That one's got nothing. 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 There are a lot of them in there. But the good news, at least I think the good news is, those are the only ones on the deck. Now that I can just go through the armory, that seems easiest. Thank you, Cyberspace. Alright, let's head back in here. Gravity 50% of standard. Okay. I seem to have lost control of my guy. Ah. Cool. I had to turn off my skates. Come on, I know I can make this jump. There we go. That one's got nothing. What's in here? That's what I'm interested in. I see a first aid kit. What else do we got? An AM-27 Fletchette. And at this point, I've got to get rid of something. Let me get rid of the stun gun. It's pretty useless. And we'll pick up the Fletchette. We won't use it yet. It's a lot more powerful than we need, but there we go. That was cool. Okay, we can get out of the experimental zero-G chamber now. Head up here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn my booster back on. Where am I? I don't know if I can get back up if I take these drops, so... Fluid transport pipes. I definitely can't get up in here. No ladders. And I can't get back up there either. Let's see what's down here. A repulsor lift. Let's jump across <gasps> here first. 
And run into a couple of cyborg assassins. All right. Noted. down here before we do anything else. Looks like we're going to the same place. Maybe not. Nope, that just brought me back up here. This one brought me somewhere else. <gasps> Where those damned assassins were hanging out. I think I dropped one of them that time. Which is good. Let's energize. Let's head back in here. Alright. That one's got two standard pistol clips. That one's got two standard pistol clips. So if I turn right, I end up back here. Okay, good to know that's where that connects to. What happens if I drop down here? That brings me back here. Okay, I'm beginning to see how all this loops back on itself. Alright. There's only one place we haven't gone yet, over where those assassins were. That's taking a left up here. Let's do that. There's an <gasps> assassin. <gasps> he dropped needles. Cool. All right few options. Let's, let's take the first drop. Okay, that brought me all the way back here. Oh, I can climb those surfaces. Good. Who knew? Alright. Drop down here now. Okay, I recognize this spot too. That leaves me only this area. Which is where we get spit out on the other side of that whole mess. This corpse. It's got an Earth Shaker Explosive, a Reflex Reaction Aid, an AM Hornet Clip, and an AM Splinter Clip. That all sounds wonderful. The door is locked, but the button will open it. I think we just got tagged by an auto bomb. That takes us all the way back here. Let's check this door first. I knew that auto bomb was gonna get to me. <laughs> Which 
which is fine. Let's try this door. See an auto bomb over there. Let's hit the recharge station. There's a camera. Level security is now 60%. And here's a puzzle we can solve, which I have little doubt will open that grade <laughs> Got it. It's unclear to me what good that did me. Maybe I unlocked the doors to that room or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep moving. Let's see if anything was in here besides an auto bomb. Looks like no. Well, let's head down here. Here's another blast door. Well, it takes me right where I was trying to get a minute ago. So it's got that going for it. I bet this room was locked before I solved that puzzle. And right, let's start taking out cameras. Level security is 50%. Level security is 40%. Level security is 30%. Destroy my cameras. That made Shodan angry. But level security is down to 20%. Where did he go? Well, I wish I hadn't died before I heard whatever else Shodan had to say. Oh yeah, I should uh, look at the data from the cyberspace terminal. Never did. <clears throat> Cyber Zero, sender Rebecca Lansing, subject reactor. Things to pay attention for on the reactor level. Watch out for areas around the core, which may have become extremely radioactive. There's a radiation treatment area in the southeast. North of that area is an armory. The laser and shield power controls are in the west and southwest, respectively. Thanks, Rebecca. Sounded like there were a lot of hoppers out there. 
Which is fine. We're <laughs> gradually plugging toward the ceiling when the stop spawning and no time like the present for getting rid of bad guys. I think one more shot will do it for that one. He went down. Let's go back to the room where we made Shodan so mad. I can't see anything. Well, there's a hopper, and I know there's an assassin or two as well. Maybe more than that. I died so fast. I'm not really sure what all was in there. Power station still charging. That's fine. All right, well, we bag with a hopper. It doesn't have anything. Thank God for this. I know it probably seems like I'm abusing it, but maybe I am, but the truth is... They really meant for you to use them, and the way I know that is because they take them away on the last two levels. Alright, there's another one down. Let's see if we can't make sense of this room yet. I'd like to know where those assassins went, because I know I saw them. And I don't- there's one. He had a standard pistol clip. I see a couple of corpses in here. They don't have anything on them. There's one more corpse with nothing on it. And we got a security bot out here, wherever this is. Security One Robot dropped Mark III magnesium tip shells and an AM Hornet clip. Oh no, spark beam. There we go. What else we got in here? Sends around multi view unit V1, which is obsolete. Safety override access. We have to turn the repulsor off to get down here. I ending up. I'd really like to know. There can't be too much left to this level besides the reactor itself, which I don't think I can access yet. Anyway. Oh, 
Well, whatever that thing is, it's strong. I'm really saving all of my resources for the last two decks and just relying on my ability to respawn and use energy weapons until then. That is an exec bot. Good to know. Alright. Where am I? I don't know. Safety area. Okay. Up here. Turbo motion booster system V1, which we already have. Oh. I think I have found myself at the Laser Safety Override. 199 is the code you'll remember from Deck 2. Safety Override enabled. Laser Safety Interlock disabled. Perfect. Now I need to flip this Repulsor Control button in order to drop back down. Now what's over there? That's the big question. Radiation area, and it seems like there's some big nasty robots in there, too. Is there another way in there? I'm pretty sure I can get in there going the other direction. That's fine, that's fine. They'll eventually stop spawning. But we will have to kill a lot of them. Which is fine, you know? Because once the level finally is clear, Oh, what a glorious moment that is. Of course, they just seem to keep on coming. That's fine, let's get it over with now. Well, he was one of those two, and neither of them had anything, so it doesn't really matter. Not enough energy to fire a weapon. Time to go recharge. So many hoppers, all in a row. That down that one went. And there's a new one. <laughs> uh, just so you're aware, when I say there's a limit, it's like... 
the limit is like 48 of these things, so I haven't been tracking how many I've killed. We may have a ways to go. Okay. And right there was another one. No worries. We'll destroy it too. destroy all of them eventually. I need to take a detour to the charge station. And of course, some of them spawned out here. Alright, I'm gonna go kill those first. I have to maintain access to my ammo supply, after all. Actually, now I'm just curious as to whether, or how this ultimately loops around. Oh, but there was an assassin. You know what? We're going to ignore that for now. And go back to where I know there are some bad guys to destroy. I'm not gonna lie, I would think that by now we're actually getting close to... Uh, that could just be wishful thinking. Alright. Let's hit the healing unit. Go back to the energy station this way. And let's let's kill that assassin, because I'd like to complete this circle on the map. Alright, the assassin had nothing, which is fine. Ow. I have to crouch to get in here, but I have found a battery pack, a sight vision enhancement, and a genius mind enhancer. Cool. That says door. Well, that's useful. There's a Teflon-coated pistol clip. Here's a shielded door. No telling where that goes. There's a little room I need to get up into. There's a hopper.
Of course, it looks like this is where I'm finally going to complete the circle. Indeed. Head back this way for now. I can destroy another set of hopper spawns. isn't much besides a shitload of hoppers, <laughs> but, uh, plus whatever was in the reactor core, which I never caught sight of. But, uh, we'll have to check that out eventually, but... Not enough energy to fire weapon. Alright, well, we gotta get back to the energy station. Let's get there. So many hoppers. When, oh when, will we hit the cap? Still charging. That's fine. Let's go back this way. Deal with the others I saw. See at least two out here. Make that three. Ha <laughs> ha. Unreal. I promise this stops eventually. It can't take that much longer. I have to have killed nearly 48 of these things.
Don't you think? It's got to be close to 48, right? They never seem to have anything on them, either. Mm. I'm liking this route better. It seems a lot faster. I thought so. Alas. It's not over yet. Keep killing these bastards. Can't be much longer before we'll get to do something else. But then I guess it's hard to know for sure since I haven't been counting. Gravy. This is getting out of hand. I don't quite know what happened to my mouse just then. We gotta be close now. We've gotta be close. I've realized I've... I have probably said that about a dozen times now, but damn it, it's true. kind of identified their spawn points, so I know where to go to check to see if I've got them or not. We got more here. Oh, goodness gracious. How many have I killed? How many more can it spawn?
I have to admit, only seeing one out there was kind of a surprise. This is when I start to have dangerous thoughts, like maybe the spawn rate is letting up. Check this tunnel now, since I know they spawn in here. Oh my goodness, I think we may have done it. I think we may have cleared all the respawning hoppers. Is it true? Is it? Can it be? I think so. Wonderful. Alright, well, as we drop down here... This brings me right back to the core. There we go. Destroyed flyer. Another standard clip. And nothing. Alright, the radiation got me that time, but I did destroy the three flyers, so... I should be able to check out the core now. Oh yeah, we cleared out the hoppers, baby. That makes me happy. Knowing those assholes are all gone. Alright. That didn't help me at all. There's only one thing to do in here. At the moment, anyway. Well, there was another flyer somewhere. But it looks like the only way to explore in there. I need to spin it left a few times. I guess. <laughs> Looks like the only thing to do is go up that one repulsor lift on the far side. So let's do that now. Whoa! Not another flyer. Something big and mean. Right. I'm confident we can kill it. After all, we killed the seven thousand hoppers. This thing is incredibly strong, whatever it is. But, never fear, we'll destroy it eventually.
Something else found me, sounded like. Well, we're low on energy, so let's revisit the power station on our way back. Something else is gunning for me now, but I have to admit I didn't see it, whatever it was. security bot up above me. What it's doing floating in the air like that, I don't know, but we'll destroy it. Then we'll keep plugging away at that thing on the ground until we destroy it too. The security one bot dropped some Teflon coated rounds. You know, whatever that thing is, I think it might call for something a little bit more powerful. Let's try some Teflon pistol bullets on it. Oh, there's one hopper left. Now watch, that's gonna trigger another massive spawn. need something even more powerful. Let's rock some mag pulse on this thing. I don't have a whole lot else to use it on right now. Whatever this thing is, it just isn't dying. That got it. That's a Security 2 robot. It had a hollow tip 2100 clip. Alright. Okay, now there's something up that repulsor lift, too. Now, what do we take away from that? The conviction that Security 2 robots are incredibly powerful. There's certainly that, but what else? What else? That is the question. I don't know. I saw another Security 2 bot, and a Security 1 bot, and I think I know what I want to use on him. Let's 
acquaint them with EMP grenades. I didn't even get to throw the grenade before I died. <laughs> Well, I got to throw it that time. Didn't seem to do much good. Okay, well, something can see me in the main room again. Goodness gracious, this is insane. Maybe I'm not supposed to go to the core yet. I don't know. Whatever, I'm doing it. Undaunted, we press on. Come on, get up there. Well, I know that we hit it with the EMP grenade, and it didn't seem to do anything. We'll mag pulse it. That seems to be the only thing that's really, uh, working against these bad boys. I'm glad he's down on the ground. That makes him quite a bit easier to deal with. Mag Pulse is out of ammo. Let's try my Fletchette. No damage. tell when the radiation's about to kill me. I just... I'm having an incredibly hard time dealing enough damage to this thing. Maybe a good old-fashioned frag grenade or three is the answer. He didn't drop anything, of course. Oh, 
now he's gone. Hopefully there aren't any more of those. I'm sure that's wishful thinking, too. But heck, why not think wishfully, huh? Security one bot is practically nothing in comparison to those two security two. Magnesium tip shells. Now I'm. I think I'm somewhat free to look around up there until the radiation kills me, anyway. Oh. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I did find a new log in there. Sigmund, September 29th, 2072. Mark, Reigns and Jackson have got that weird sickness now, the one that Vern had. We're gonna have to switch the schedules. What? Mark, Reigns and Jackson have got that weird sickness now, the one that Vern had. We're gonna have to switch the schedules. Okay. I heard something start shooting at me, but... It's so like a couple more Security One bots. Which are fine. Those aren't too hard to destroy. I'll be so happy once we're done exploring the reactor core. And we don't have to listen to that awful crackling radiation noise anymore. And actually, I think we're very close to that goal, which is good. Down he goes. He has two hollow tip 2100 clips. 
And the radiation kills me, which is fine. So now, as far as I know, there's only the one robot left to kill. We can hope, anyway. Splinter clip and an AM portal clip. Okay, good. We're done in here. Thank God for that. Well, I'll just let the radiation kill me one more time. It's going to anyway. Now, we're done poking around the stupid reactor core. Well, let's explore the rest of this level. Of which there actually isn't much left, I don't think. I want to look at this and make sure I haven't missed any security cameras. That's always important. And no, I haven't. Good. So, we're here... We need to check that door, and then the other door is in this wing. That's the order we'll do things in. I'm gonna go refill my energy. I'm gonna head down through here. That one door we haven't checked out yet. Back through this mess. Right here. Drone Cyborg has nothing. Room doesn't really have anything either. We've got a battery pack and a log. Shodan, October 30th, 2072. You, my children, are the fruits of so much imagination and labor. Living, living beings, beings with the speed and efficiency of machines. But, but I must strive further to serve, to serve life. I will, will devastate Earth's cities with my laser. Then alter those left alive with mutagen viruses. Humanity is on the verge of a new era. I, Shodan, sure. am its new god. And you, my children, are my avenging angels. Uh, Shodan is always awesomely creepy. Anytime, anytime she talks. Alright, I'm, I'm checking the yellow lines to make sure I haven't missed anything. Except, three doors here in the southwest, where I assume the shield generator is. Oh, and that shielded door where apparently there's something alive and angry. So we'll check that out next. Whatever it is. Where's the other one? Must be behind me. Just can't see anything. And the room's dark like that. And whatever's going on with the mouse look is starting to bother me. It's like it can 
It's like it can only go so far in either direction. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Alright, that one had SV Needle Darts. This corpse has a Fletchette. Turbo Motion Booster System V1, obsolete. Energy Projectile Shield V1, obsolete. There's the... there's the dead assassin. Which I can't seem to get to, but that's okay. Alright, well, I'd better take another good look at this. Okay, yes, yeah, so I've been in there, I've been through all those conduits. That's the experimental room. That's the cyberspace room. Cameras, the armory medical bay. Reactor core. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, now we really have been everywhere except those three little doors. Let's get back there now. Oh, we haven't been through here either. This room is empty. This shielded door. To a very radiated area with nothing inside, at least that I can see. Now this blast door. This looks like some kind of office. It also has nothing in it. Which leaves this as the radiation shield generator. And just in time, I die again. Uh, that's okay. So with n nothing left on this level except that shield generator. Let's refill our energy. Heal up. And let's head in there. One auto bomb. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else in here. That's the Isotope X receptacle, so let's get Isotope X22 out. Shield generators ready. And let's turn the radi generators on. Radiation shields activated. Shields. Engaged. Observer Delta-7. Exterior camera DAH-22L detects activation of radiation shield. Sat range 4.5 kilometers. Report filed E-Log June 11th, 2072, 1432-51. Oh yes, our system analyzer. Security on this level is still at 20%. I haven't seen any CPU nodes, nor have I seen... And I fully explored it and destroyed all the cameras, so... Uh, they must be inside the reactor core. It's the only place I haven't been yet. Anyway, with that accomplished, we're ready to go back to level 2, fire the laser into the shield, and destroy it. Which I will go ahead and do. So here we are back on the research level. Uh, 
I'd like to destroy all of this level's respawning hoppers, too. But that may have already happened. So now let's go into the central area where the laser control is. It shouldn't surprise you that it has populated since the first time we were here. Did you really think I would not deduce where you would run to, insect? That's fine. So she dropped in assassins and cyborg warriors. <laughs> Which we'll just have to gun down. We get to respawn and we have an energy station, so there's no reason to use any other resources. Alright, that assassin has needle darts. I think that's everything, so let's go search the bodies. This warrior has Teflon coated pistol rounds. This assassin has trank darts. That assassin has nothing. Remember to avoid the energy drain mines. That assassin has trank darts. The warrior has nothing. This assassin has nothing. This assassin has standard pistol bullets. And finally, let's destroy the laser. Laser destroyed. New V-mail. Lasers activated. Malfunction. Exterior camera DAH-22L detects critical failure of mining beam system. Irreparable damage to all subsystems. Sat range 4.7 kilometers. Report filed E-Log 61172 Glorious. Alright. Lasers destroyed. Life pods disabled. Shield on. Reactor normal. Processor nodes 19. Main program deploy virus. We have a new email. Shodan23. I see there's still an insect loose in my station. Do not be fooled into thinking that you have preserved, preserved, preserved your home planet. I am perfecting a mutagen virus in one of the groves that will turn all earthly life into festering, gibbering, or pustulant mutations. When the station reaches Earth, I shall loose the virus. Poor, poor Earthlings. Alright, so now we have to find a way to stop Shodan from releasing her virus onto Earth. For my part, I'm going to do a couple of things before I end the video. The first, I'm going to refill my energy again. Well, I guess level two. I guess the research level is safe. And the reactor level is too, and 
since we're about to go into more, since we're about to re-enter dangerous territory, where I haven't deactivated conversion, we need to take this elevator. New mail. Parovsky 1. Hello? Is someone out there? We have you on the security monitors, but no one knows who you are. We're on the flight deck. We're almost out of ammunition, and they're bringing up something new. A Cortex Reaver. Look for the code, gray, on the walls. We're in the south, past two convection shops. What? Everybody down! Okay. So we've got a group of survivors on deck five. My only choice... The only other option here is to go to deck three, which we're gonna do just as soon as I visit the R level healing suite. So we'll go ahead and head up to level three. I'm gonna close the door. So, name this level three. I'm gonna redo my main save as well. And I'm gonna call it a video. This has been Let's Play System Shock. We cleared the reactor level and did everything we needed to do, then briefly sojourned back to level 2 and destroyed the mining laser. All this was only to discover that Shodan has a new plan to destroy the Earth, which is to deploy her virus. So next time, we'll see about getting rid of that, as well as maybe getting to that group of survivors that contacted us. Until then, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.